Good afternoon. How's everybody doing? 
Hope everyone's having a great day so far. Uh, happy Thursday, back to our normal time. It's uh, a great day for Workout Wednesday. Uh, we've got a, uh, <clears throat> a really awesome challenge from Erica this week, uh, which is really great. And uh, next week is my week, uh, so start thinking about uh, start thinking about there. Hey there, Tim. How are you? It's good to see you. Thanks for thanks for joining this week. And uh, yeah, so uh, let's take a look at what we're going to be doing this week. All right. So, uh, as you can see, trying a new uh, a tr trying a new layout uh, this week. So uh, I got the uh, the chat there, so we can all see the chat, uh, which is pretty cool. So um, new background image, nice little uh, desk, wood desk uh, background there. So pretty cool. Uh, okay, so the challenge this week uh, we're doing double drill down with set actions uh which is going to be pretty cool so um if we uh obviously uh she said this is um erica warned us uh that this is not a beginner friendly challenge uh hopefully by the end of this you'll feel a little bit more comfortable with set actions and we can uh do some really uh you'll be able to do some really fun stuff and kind of see the potential of what you can do with set actions so uh just as a reminder uh Set actions came first, right? So set actions came before parameter actions, which I feel like parameter actions have really kind of taken over. If you were to take a poll of the community, uh, which one, which actions do you use more? Uh, I think parameter actions are overwhelmingly popular uh, across the community. So really cool stuff. Uh, so, but first, before we before we learned about parameter actions, we had to learn set actions. So that is what this is uh, that's what this challenge is designed for. So let's go ahead and look at the final product and then we'll go ahead and get building. So uh, what we can see here is we've got a double drill down. Uh, we can see here we've got uh, we've got category as the dark bars, subcategory as the medium bars, and then we have the actual manufacturer as the uh, as the lightest colored bar. Now, we can go in here. Once we click on everything, this is kind of the, the full uh, gamut of things. This is kind of the full workflow of things. So we've got a dashboard. We see sales by category. We click a category. And it does that, right? So it goes there and um, drills down into that category uh, showing the subcategories within the selected category but it still maintains the other categories right and whenever you click again click any of these subcategories you will see the manufacturers within those subcategories as well as still being able to see the subcat the remaining subcategories and the categories. So we never lose sight of what we're doing. We never lose sight of context. And we continue to see, uh, we also have this nice little breadcrumb up here that shows us what we're actually going to be, uh, what we're actually drilling into. Let's see what happens if we click on a different subcategory, what happens? All right, so we click on a different subcategory and it filters down uh, into that. We click a manufacturer we get the selected mark, we clear the selection, and everything turns back to normal. Okay, so that is what we're gonna be doing. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. Does anybody else keep their, uh, does anybody else keep their, their uh, opening start page of Tableau clear like this? No, uh, no, no recents here. I like to have a nice clean palette every time I start, so. I always, I wish there was a setting in settings that I could just say, you know, keep that here instead of having all my recents here that I always have to click and uh, get rid of. But anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's do, let's see what they're doing. All right. So Superstore, let's click in there and let's start, uh, let's start going here. So let's see what other types of, uh, let's go down to the requirements. 10-8, as many sheets. 
bar chart for sales or category. Excuse me, didn't get enough sleep last night. Uh, use set actions to create a drill down from category to subcategory. And then if you're feeling brave, you can take it one step further to do uh, subcategory to manufacturer. We're going to color the bars uh, by dimension, uh, by the dimension, meaning if they're a category, they're going to be that. If they're a subcategory, they're going to be a different color. And if they're a manufacturer, they're going to be a light color. Also, we need to filter the data set to the most recent month. Okay, so let's start with that because that's uh, always a good thing. Whenever we're doing uh, validation, we always want to make sure we're uh, we always want to make sure we get our filters right here. So I'm going to do date filter here. Call it date filter. Bump this up so you guys can see it. And it's just going to be I'm just going to date trunk this. I'm going to date trunk the order date uh, to the month level is equal to the fixed level of detail max of this. Add another paren, add another curly bracket, and there we go, right? So does the row level date trunk of month equal the aggregate total maximum date trunk of month, of order month, All right? So that's what we're doing. Click OK. Now, a lot of people will just throw it into filters and do it across all data sources uh, or across, across all sheets in data source. I like to take it one step further uh, and do it in here. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, it's out of sight, out of mind. If I set it here, I don't have to worry about it anymore. So now that's done. OK? All right. So the first thing that we need to do whenever we're dealing with set actions, uh, what we need to be thinking about here is we need to be thinking about, uh, we need to be creating a combination of sets, calculated fields. Uh, those are the things that we need. So very first thing we need to do is we need to take, we need to create a set off of uh, category. So right click category, create set, category set. We don't, uh, we don't need to select anything right now. We'll do that. Then what we're going to do from there is we're going to create a new calculated field. And this is going to be the selected, I uh, will do uh, subcategories of category. And this is gonna be a this is what's going to start to build our uh, our things here, right? So we're going to say uh, if the category set is true, which means we've put something in the set, then we want to return the subcategories, right? If it's not in there, let's return the category, okay? So let's just see what this looks like here. So we've got our category, let's build out our category here. We'll put out our, uh, as you can see, we've got, it's the same here, right? But if we go ahead and we edit our, uh, let's show set here, and let's do single value list, right? So here, now you can see as soon as I did it on, uh, when I changed it to a uh, single select, see how it, See how the second level, we still have our category. This is the raw category, not the set. We're using the set in the calculation. Uh, so it's very important to remember that. So what we're doing is we have category, and then we have the subcategories of selected categories. So we have furniture is in the set. All right, so let's look at this calculation again. So if category set, is set to furniture, then return the subcategories within that set or within that dimension, right? So that's how we get subcategories here. Else, just return, if it's not here, we're just gonna return the category name. So that's why we see that, okay? Now what we need to do, so that is the first drill down, right? We've got that. 
Now what we need to do is we need to go one step further, right? And we just, we just, all we need to do is duplicate the process of what we just did, right? So you might be tempted to, to create a category, to create a set off of subcategory, uh, but that's not going to work um, because we don't, we're not using subcategory in any of our, um, on any of our sheets here. What we're actually going to do is create a set off of this calculated field. So let's create a set and we'll just call it subcategories of category set. We're not going to, we'll use, uh, and just for the sake of, again, trying to make sure that this is working, we'll do bookcases. Okay. All right, because that is a subcategory of the category of the selected category. So we have two sets here, right? And I will just, yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep the name the same. That's fine. But we have to just remember that there's one that's a set and one that's a text field, right? So now what we need to do is we need to, again, right? So here, if you think about it, we're using sets in calculated fields, and those calculated fields are what we're using on rows. So let's create a calculated field, and we'll call this the uh, we'll call this level three, right? If you can imagine, right? This is level one, this is level two, and we want level three to be kind of everything all together, right? So we'll call that level three. What it's going to be is if category set, then if subcategory set, then, and actually let's, uh, let's do some indentation here so we can see, then manufacturer. If so, let's 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 break so let's break this down here. So if it's in the cat if the category set is true, if it's if furniture right, so we've got furniture in the set. If it's furniture, great. What are we gonna do? Well, let's go look at the next set, which is this. Which remember we still here we'll do a show. Well, I don't have it there, uh, but remember we selected bookcases, right? So. Uh, so this set has bookcases in it. If bookcases is in the set, what do we want to return? We want to return the manufacturer. If this set is false, meaning it's chairs, furnishings, tables, we want to return subcategory. And then we'll end that. Else category meaning if category if it is not category set meaning if it's office supplies or technology we want to return the category name and then we'll end that okay so let's again let's take our level three here and let's drag it up here okay so we have furniture bookcases is selected it's in that, because now what we can do, I think, yes, we can show the set, right? And single value list on bookcases, right? So here's how you can see that. The We have furniture here. Let me rearrange these so you can see them. All right. I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can, so you can see that. Oop, too much. Oop. trying to get fancy here and you can see what's happening. Okay, so we've got furniture selected. You can see that furniture is selected because it's everything that's blowing out. Then we have all of our subcategories here. We also know that we have bookcases within that selected, all right? So then we get level three, which is the manufacturer. Otherwise, we're just returning the subcategory. If it's not in the category, which is officer, office supplies or technology, it's here right? 
And we can continue to make sure that this is right by choosing different ones, right? So now we'll go ahead and we'll put some of sales on here and let's get our nest let's get our uh let's do two things while we're here right now uh let's get our sorting right and let's get our colors which which one do we want to do first uh let's do sorting because that's that's easier in my head so what we need to do is we need to do uh and again this is where some most recent uh advances features in tableau have really come in help uh in um have really come to help us which is the uh nested sorting so for each one of these levels we're going to nest these by sum of sales and as you can see that starts to uh that's going to start to sort those correctly right So now each one is nested to some of, to sort that right. So, um, so now if I if I select bookcases again, you'll see that it stays there because that's where it should stay, right? And so, so let's just stay right here. And now what we need to do. So let's go see if we need to do anything else. Let's go look here. So we've got that. Oh, okay, so I forget the thing I forgot is I forgot some uh, markings here. I forgot the the marks to show that we're drilling in. So the indentation and these little dash marks. So let's go add those in. So we'll go back to our level three calculation. And manufacturer is just going to be a uh, an open quote here. Two spaces, three spaces, and three da and two dashes and then one after that and then we do a plus sign so that's basically concatenating what are we doing oh i did a, a single and a double quote that ain't good okay there we go and then we'll hear of this one be just a space and a single quote or a single dash and then a, a space and then close that and then we need to add our plus sign to concatenate those just like that Click apply. There we go. Let me uh, bump this up a little bit. Entire view. So now you can kind of see how that is. Now, to keen, uh, let's let's do the color now, right? So now let's figure out the color. And I think this is going to be a lot easier now. So what we can do is. We'll do, this is the color card, or the color field. And what we can do, probably really easily, if level three equals a manufacturer name, then this is the lightest, this is the light color. Else, if level three equals a subcategory name, then this is the medium color. Else, this is the dark color. Right? And we're doing it off of this. Uh, and, but. What we need to do, we need to, this is not going to work because the actual name of level three is space dash space dash space subcategory name or space 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 dash dash uh, manufacturer name. So I think what we can do, we'll need to replace in level three spaces with empty quote or with empty space. 
And then we need to do it again. Uh, that is going to, that's going to replace. That's not going to do that. Oh. That's because that could, right? If I do that, I don't, because, so the reason I'm not thinking this will work is because if there are any manufacturer names, right? Or anything that have spaces in them, if I do a, if I do a replace space with nothing, right? So, right, so for example, level th this replace level three, uh, replace a space with nothing. Whenever it gets down to office supplies, it's going to uh, it's going to take away the space between office and supply, and therefore, whenever I do a um, whenever I do the check, uh, it's not going to equal it. So that's not going to work. It has the potential not to work. We might get lucky, but I don't. So how should we do this? All right. Oh, let's do it off of the dashes, right? Let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So we'll do. So now we'll do if contains level three. If it contains two dashes, then level three. Then light. Else if contains level three one dash, then medium else dark. And the reason that this will work is and the order of the order of this if statement matters. Um, because if we had put the single dash first. It would have it would have taken it would have all of these contain a single dash, right? So whenever it would get to here, there would be nothing left for it to look for, and then it would just be all dark, right? So sometimes that makes a difference. The order of your ifs in uh, your cases, um, whenever you're writing calculated field matters, especially when you're doing something like this. So let's click OK, and let's give this a whirl. Actually, since I've got them all explained, I'm going to go ahead and just do, again, default properties, color, and then we'll go to the blue color palette. We'll do blue as dark blue, light as light blue. I don't know if I don't want it that light. Medium as a medium. Let's click apply. We don't see any change because I haven't put it on the sheet yet. Let's see if this works. Okay, I, I, I saw it, but I don't really see a big difference between this blue and that blue. So let's go edit our colors and mix. Let's actually do the, this one really light. Like, we, like I said, I didn't want to, but I did anyway. There we go. All right. So that looks good. All right. So the next thing that we see here... We look at our example she does not have she only has one layer here right she only has one level showing but I know that she has other layers in the view because I see her row dividers right um, so that tells me that there are multiple levels so let's just I, I think we'll just leave this stuff on here and we'll just uncheck show header now we can go and we can format this to borders let's Take it down one notch. Yes. Let's double check. We've got all of this in one here and here. All of this in one here and here. Cool. Let's continue doing some formatting. We'll do lines. We'll get rid of what else? Oh, no, not here. We want to get rid of our column dividers. What else? Looks like we've got that. Yep, that looks good. Okay. All right. So that is working. Now what we need to do is we just need to set up our actions. So let's go to worksheet, actions, change set values. This will be the category, action.
action on sheet one on the category set. We're going to assign the values to the set. Whenever we clear the selection, we're going to remove values from the set. And we're going to do this the same thing. We're going to change this. This is going to be the subcat action. And it's going to be on the data source on sheet one on select. We're going to use the subcategory. We're going to assign the values to the set and we're going to remove values from the set. So hopefully, keep your fingers crossed, this works. There are all of my manufacturers within the one that I chose. If I select a manufacturer, I get a selection. If I clear the selection, hooray. Now let's make sure it works. So let's click, uh, let's click office supplies. Yep. We've got that. Let's click into appliances. Here are all of our appliances. Manu here are all of our appliance manufacturers. Click on a click on a appliance manufacturer. We get the selection. Clear it. We get it. Awesome. 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 So this was this is working. This is working the way that we want it to. So perfect. All right, so let's keep this view looking like this. And let's go to, what else? What do we need? Okay, let's do our breadcrumb here. So this is category breadcrumb. Okay, let's do category I'm actually going to do just a I'm going to write this in here category on text and I'm going to put category set on text and I'm actually just going to do show members and set Category office supplies. Let's go ahead and not show header. Do some formatting. Get rid of our borders. Uh, there we go. That was strange. I uh, don't know what happened there, but it's back. All right, let's do some quick formatting of this. First, we get the category word. It goes over here. Do that. Whoop. I'm actually going to do this. And we're going to color all of this blue. And we're going to bump up the size to 12. We're going to bump up the size a little bit more to 14. And we'll make this Tableau medium. What's that look like? That looks good. OK. Duplicate. This is going to be our subcategory, breadcrumb. And we can keep that. We will remove this. And we will put this on text. We get that. We only want to show the members in the set. So we get category supplies. Yep. Let's go ahead and edit this because this is actually going to be. Uh, do put that over there. There we go. And this 
this is actually going to be 14 tableau medium. Oh, come on. All right, let's do this whole thing. Tableau medium, 14, no bold, on medium color size. Click OK. Category supplies. We're going to change this guy to actually say subcategory. There we go. And then we'll duplicate this one more time. And remove that. And this will actually say manufacturer. And put the color filter on light, meaning it's only, it should only show when the light color is visible, which means the manufacturer is visible. <clears throat> and then we'll change. Let's go ahead and edit this text here. Get rid of the missing field because we know it's missing. And we'll select, we'll do this and we'll do it the light color. All of it, there we go. Okay. And we'll call this manufacturer breadcrumb. That. Okay, let's go back here. Now let's. Okay, so when I'm here, hopefully I should see nothing in the breadcrumb sheets. That's blank. That's blank. And that's blank. Good. Click on a category. I should just see furniture. Nothing is selected in subcategory and no manufacturer. Good. Click on a subcategory. Now we have subcategories and we should see a manufacturer now. We should. Hmm, but do I? Let's see what the use case is here. So we go here. We go back to normal. Good. Furniture. We see furniture here and subcategory. We select a subcategory and then it pops up with all of the manufacturers. When I select a manufacturer, I don't get anything here because we assume that that's, we, we, we're showing the mark selection. So that's why we're not, uh, that, that could be why she didn't add uh, the actual name up here because this is a, this already implies that this that would go up there, right? But one thing I will do, I believe, is I'm going to go back to this. I'm going to add mark labels only for the selected. All right, so let's go back here. Let's go to 12. Let's match the mark color. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's mark. Yeah, that'll be all right. Okay, so now what should happen is nothing should show up until, yeah, there we go. That's really dark. I don't know if I like that. Oh, uh, but we'll go back here. We'll do this. We'll do Tableau Medium. And I think what we'll do is instead of doing match mark color, I think we'll just do this dark, uh, this dark blue color to kind of keep it in the, keep it all contained. And then whenever we select Xerox, there we go. So that will show us when we select it, that's what the sales are for that. And you still get to see kind of in context how that, how that all falls. Okay, let's see. What does she have for tool tips? Just looks like, looks like, yeah, just level three and the dollars. Okay, that looks, that sounds fine. So we'll go here. She has dollars first. And they're a little bit bigger. 
and then we have here and that's a little smaller and then we have level three get rid of command buttons and show selection by category so there we go maybe now we'll go here and we'll default properties number format currency no decimal places there we go all right so there we go we've got oh one last thing we'll uh, hide labels for rows there we go let's uh, format the font let's beef this up just a little bit there we go maybe you have 11 that sounds good that looks good okay cool now let's go make our dashboard what does she say 10 by 8 is that what it was 10 by 8 cool all right 10 by 8 that's our default that's great I'm gonna add oh I gotta add a vertical here I'm gonna add 20 pixels of padding to the outside I'm gonna add our bar breadcrumb here or our bar just our bar here get rid of our filters because we don't need them get rid of our title now what we're going to do is first we need a text box 26 tableau semi bold and a little darker this is wow 2022 25 double Double drill down with set actions. There we go. Next, we'll do another vertical container in here. And we'll do this one with a background of a light color. And five pixels of inner padding here. I'm going to take this guy and put him in there. Now, I'm going to do <clears throat> another vertical on top. This is going to be, this is going to say, this is Prada medium, a little bit darker. And it's going to be 15, and it's going to say product sales. Right? Yep, product sales. Okay. And then in here, we'll do a, uh, we'll do a horizontal. We'll distribute evenly, and we'll do category, subcategory, and manufacturer, hide our titles. Let's see what pops up. Oh, okay, format, format the sheet. No color. Okay, so I need to go to work. Dashboard. Dashboard. Actions. And uncheck these extra sheets. I don't want my actions. I don't want actions on either one of those. So we'll do that. Do, whoop, we'll do that. There we go. All right, so let's see. Category furniture. Subcategory tables, manufacturer, that gets selected. Let's try this. Here, let's try it. Let's select another one. What do we get? Yes. There it is. Cool. So, again, uh, let's see what we talked about. We talked about how to go about doing drill down with set actions. So, let's uh, quickly review what we did here, right? So, the first thing we did. Uh, is we created a set based off of our highest level dimension, right? Then from there, we created a new calculated field, right? That calculated field just returned the next level of the selected dimension from the first level and then everything else. Then in order to continue that path, 
we so we created a set based off of that newly calculated field and then what we did is we created the next level which is just again the same pattern of drilling right so there is no limit to the levels that you can drill down to you just follow this process the whole time now your, your calculations are going to get very complicated um, as you continue going down this uh, path. So just keep that in mind, uh, right? So each next level down from this would have uh, if category set, then if subcategory set, then if product set, then product name, else manufacturer, L subcategory, whatever, whatever, right? So just keep that in mind um, as you kind of build this out. So uh, so that's what we did. And we had a lot of fun doing it. At least I did. Hopefully you learned a few things. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and look at this. We'll hide all of our unused fields. And that's all we did, right? And then we just created, uh, and then we did our breadcrumbs. Right, and we just did our breadcrumbs based off of what was selected, uh, and we just we showed the members in the set. Right, so instead of showing in or out, we just showed uh, the members in the set. So that's how, that's what we did. So hopefully that was uh, enjoyable. Hopefully you enjoyed that, and uh, yeah. Hey there, Erica. Nice to see you. Yes. Uh, yeah, Peter. Uh, proves that for the question, I wonder if I can do that in Tableau. Yeah, you can. 90% of the time, uh, you just got to have a uh, skilled hand. So, yes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, we'll do this again next week. So, thanks so much. Go forth and viz.